hello everyone welcome again to kitchen moods today i will be showing you how i make my complete protein ancient pita this pita is made of mixed whole grains and legumes to make sure it has all nine essential amino acids that the body requires for optimal health getting complete proteins from plant-based protein sources is especially essential for vegans and vegetarians this pita is not only delicious but it's also rich in fibers proteins and a lot of other nutrients the time of preparation is between 20 and 30 minutes for five to seven pitas the ingredients of the recipe will be one cup of split peas i soaked it for 48 hours changing the water every 12 hours one and a half cup of bulgur soaked in water for at least 12 hours mix of your preferred herbs i use today dill parsley and coriander a mix of your favorite spice today i'm using garlic powder onion powder salt and pepper to taste other options could be fennel or cumin first i will add my bulgur into the blender and will gradually add little water to make sure the bulgur blends into a smooth batter then I will add the split peas again with a little bit of water and mix well until the mixture is completely blended and smooth. Stop the blender and stir with a spatula if the mixture is giving you a hard time to blend well in the blender. You can always add a little bit of extra water. Then I will add my herbs and spice to the mixture and give it a final blend. Now if you have a real strong blender, all the ingredients can be added at once and blended together. And we end up with a batter that is smooth like that. The consistency of the batter should be like those of pancakes and cakes but a little bit thinner. Then I will heat a little bit of oil in a medium pan and start spreading my batter. I will spread it and level it until it's as thin as possible. I'm going to use my ladle first, then I will continue spreading it with a small spatula just like that. Then I will let it cook two to three minutes on medium high heat and try to shake it every now and then like that. When it's released from the pan, I can flip it to the other side. Then I will leave this side cook for another two to three minutes. Then we'll repeat the process for all the quantity of my batter. And when I finish cooking the pita, I transfer it to a plate. I ended up making eight pitas with the quantity of batter I used today. This pita is incredibly soft and elastic. I use it just as regular pita and it stays in the fridge for three to four days fresh. If not, it handles the freezer pretty well. I hope you enjoy it and until the next recipe.